the more things change, the more they remain the same. Like this new third generation Swift over here, which looks like a Swift, but it's actually related to the Bellino. This car has a lot more space, but the same tried and tested engines under the hood. The design is all new, but it looks distinctly like the Swift. It is based on the Hartec platform shared by the Desire and Bellino. The LED projector headlamps with daytime running lamps look distinctive. The mid variants get regular halogen units. The single aperture grille and smiley face bumper make it stand out. At the side, you'll notice it looks like a two-door car because the rear door handles are on the C-pillar. The blacked out pillars give it a floating roof effect. At the rear, the tail lamps bulge outwards and have a striking C-shape to them. The new Swift is wider than the older one. So the new Swift comes with the same old engine choices, the K-series petrol engine and the 1.3-litre multi-jet diesel engine. But the fuel efficiency has gone up a little bit. The K-series petrol now puts out 22 kilometers per litre, while the diesel gives you 28.4 kilometers per litre. Both the engines come with a choice of either a 5-speed manual transmission or a 5-speed automated manual transmission or AMT. The interiors are all black. The front seats are thick and sporty, but plastic quality at the rear could have been a bit better. All variants of the Swift come with two airbags and ABS as standard. The top-end variant gets a 7-inch infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It also has a reverse camera and GPS navigation. The mid-variant and top variants get push-button ignition, keyless entry, 15-inch alloy wheels and automatic climate control, but no rear AC vents. In short, it's pretty loaded with features. Another change you'll find in the new Swift is the amount of space it has inside. Wheelbase has gone up by 20 millimeters and shoulder room has gone up by 40 millimeters, which means you can actually seat three people in comfort at the rear. Knee room is not a problem anymore and neither is headroom. So one of the weaknesses of the earlier generation Swift was a limited amount of boot space. But Maruti has set that right with the new Swift, which now gets 268 litres of boot space, which is an increase of 52 litres over the previous generation. You can now shove in a lot more luggage. Driving the new Swift doesn't really feel any different from before. I'm driving the 1.3 multi-jet diesel engine version right now and it feels very familiar except that it's slightly more sprightly now because the car is about 85 kilos lighter. The petrol auto gear shift version that I was driving a short while ago feels quite sprightly. The AMT shifts quite fast which uh, is pretty good for that car. Now the Swift has always had a pretty stiff suspension and the new Swift is no different. The suspension continues to be stiff and which means a lot of the bumps actually filter into the cabin. So the new Swift gets a nice flat bottom steering wheel and the feel is pretty good. It's got an electronic power steering system but it weighs up well at high speed. So you do get a feeling of confidence with this car. That's the key thing with this car, a young, sporty character. It has sold over 1.7 million units since its launch in 2005, and with this iteration, it looks set for some of big numbers. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the new third generation Swift for you. The question is, should you get one? Here's the thing, your neighbor's gonna have one. Your neighbor's neighbor's gonna have one. Your neighbor's neighbor's uncle is gonna have one. That's because this car has been one of India's most popular cars for over a decade. And I see no reason why it won't continue to be so. This here is a completely new package, but yet it's still the same. Oh, and if you like this video, don't forget to share it and subscribe to The Quint as well.